My name is Brayden Duval and I'm 19 years old. Cleft lip and palate affected me because it made me more self-conscious about myself, the way I look. Just because my face is not as normal, like in my eyes, as other people's. And everyone's looked at me before. I guess people just stare at me sometimes. A situation where everyone's kind of staring at me. Whenever I go out to the store, not really at school anymore, but more at public places, people stare at me. It's the first time of them seeing me, and it just bothers me. I don't like people staring at me. The amount of surgeries I've had is about eight. The only one I really remember was the one that happened in third grade. I had a surgery on my hip, and they took my hip bone, and they placed it on my mouth, because there's a hole in my mouth. Before I even was put to sleep to them to work on me, they gave me an option whether to do the mask or the shot, because I was really young, I didn't like the mask at all, so I chose a shot. It worked a lot better. I mean, it was kind of painful, like after, for like a few weeks. I had, had to go on crutches, and I had to take medicine, obviously, for my hip. Sometimes it would be painful to like walk or any of that. It, it wasn't as bad when I was younger, I guess. And everyone kind of got used to me and the way I looked, so as I got older, it didn't really affect me. It just, uh, Cleveland Palette makes me self-conscious just because I guess my nose and my mouth are the big parts, I suppose. I just don't think they look as normal as other people's, and people don't obviously get stared at as much as I do, which kind of bothers me, but. My support with Cleft Lip Palette, my family's been really supportive, especially my mom and dad. After my surgery, they were really supportive. They helped me recover fast, and I mean, my friends have as well. My name is Derek Duvall Sr., and I am Braden's father. Braden has had eight surgeries due to his cleft lip and palate. Cleft lip and palate is when the baby's being formed in the uterus, the way the face forms, it goes like this. And some babies are, babies are born with unilateral and bilateral. Brady had unilateral, so it was only on one side. Some babies have bilateral, which is on both sides. So it's just a defect that happens in the, during a pregnancy. We did not know Brady was going to be born with cleft lip and palate until he was actually born. Well, he drank from a special bottle, had a super long nipple, because a normal bottle, since he had the hole right here, it would have just kept coming out. So he had a special bottle he had to use until he got his lip adhesion, and then he got his cleft repaired. He was in the hospital, and right after his cleft surgery, they're like, oh, he's not going to eat for probably 24 hours. He ate four hours after his surgery. He was so hungry. I'm sure it was painful, but he wanted his bottle and he had to wear arm braces when he was little, when he first got a couple of his surgeries when he was a baby, so he didn't pull on the repairs that they were doing, so he, he was like, they're solid braces, so he couldn't bend his elbows. You can live cleft lip and palate without it being repaired. It'll make your life a lot more difficult. Luckily, the surgeon that he went to was one of the best in the country, or the best in the country. He did go with this thing called Smile Train, where he goes overseas and helps kids in underprivileged countries have the surgery because they can't afford it. But the surgery actually makes it their life easier. If they can live with it, it's just going to make their life a lot harder. The last major surgery he had, they took a piece of bone from his hip and put it in his upper jaw, his upper lip up here, the jaw part. And the next surgery, he's got his teeth repaired. He's going to throw some more braces on. And then they're going to actually, he has an underbite. So they're going to shave his jaw back. And then they're going to do some rhinoplasty on his nose. And that will be it. You go to the cranial facial center when we took him. Some of the other kids I saw there, some of the other problems they had. I mean, his were small, pale to comparison. But, I mean, these kids live normal. Their speech is normal. I mean... You know, this is like the rhinoplasty he's gonna get. That's for his. He looks, he looks fine, but that's for his own. He wants to do that for himself. We told him he, when he got to a certain age, he could do that. But I mean, I, I do think it makes these kids tougher because Brady does have the highest pain tolerance out of any kid I've ever met in my life. Like I said earlier, Smile Train, which is I used to donate to it through my work. They stopped doing it, but that's a very good cause that I donate to because this Dr. Layman was a real big part of that. He'd go overseas to these third world countries where they can't afford surgery and he'd do their surgeries for free. He just donated, you know, the taxpayers paid for it with donations, but these kids, it's not as like it is over here in the US. I donated to that, it's a very good cause, and I mean, it's really all I gotta say about that.